hey guys and welcome back to my channel i am officially doing my breast augmentation video i'm so excited um, i actually had my surgery yesterday i did vlog yesterday but that vlog will actually come out tomorrow so just stay tuned for that but before i came out with that video i kind of sort of wanted to do a sit down video i have been telling you guys that i was going to go over every single thing that you guys possibly had questions about i was going to do a q a but instead i just decided to watch a whole bunch of other people's videos and there were pretty much the same questions asked amongst everyone's videos so i was like okay let me just get the main questions um and then i jotted those down i'll talk about a little bit of my experience so far and everything that's going on um and then at my six week um follow-up i will blog that and give you guys um an update of how everything is coming along so i'm still currently out of town um I have had surgery in town before with having two C-sections and I know that process of being able to go home in the comfort of your own bed in the same city that you live in and it's so much easier with follow-up appointments because like I said you live in the same city however I did find a doctor out of state all the way in Dallas Texas and it has been quite an experience having um, my consult to begin with over the phone with the two doctors that I was deciding with um, and actually coming down to have the procedure itself. Um, so far, it's still a good experience. The only thing is I didn't realize that I had booked my surgery around Mother's Day um, and I didn't realize it until like a week before surgery and I was originally planning on bringing my daughters down here anyways um, and then when I found out that it was going to be Mother's Day I was like okay yeah they're definitely coming um, and then I talked to a few friends who've had the surgery before and they're like uh yeah don't recommend I think that you should probably leave the girls behind um, and then unfortunately something came up and my mom had a very important meeting um, yesterday so she wouldn't have been able to be here to watch the girls i told you guys this in the vlog so long story short i had to leave the girls behind so my next option was to fly home the same day of surgery so that i could be able to spend mother's day at home with the girls and then fly back here for my follow-up appointment which typically takes place the day after your surgery but since i had my surgery on a friday mine wasn't going to be taking place until monday but i was like let me go ahead and talk to my doctor first before i book the flight and she she said that was a negative she didn't recommend it whatsoever so we had to extend our trip um so it's just me and my boyfriend here um and he's literally been um my nurse and every single thing like making sure i'm okay and it hasn't been too too bad mother's day is tomorrow and i am a little emotional that i can't be at home but i finally got something i have been wanting to get for such a long time i told you guys about this um and sorry if it's like really bright like it just seems like it's really bright but i originally had um told you guys like at the beginning of my channel i was open to a breast augmentation it was something i really wanted at that time i was a 34b i will insert pictures of my boob journey prior to like finally making the decision so you guys can kind of sort of see like what made me really decide to go ahead and get it but yes yeah, so when i first started i was like you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and get it but i was really really anxious back in the day and like i used to have really bad anxiety and i was like i just don't want to be put under anesthesia so i I just won't do it um and then i didn't really need it anyway so i was like um i just won't get it um however after um i gave birth and breastfed my twins um yeah i put on my bra after um like breastfeeding was completely over and my milk was gone my boobs started to shrink and literally i was able to put my hand inside of all of my bras i could not fit not one of my bras and i became really really insecure like to the point that i didn't even go and purchase my right size bra like and my oldest twins are two years old um and i did not go and purchase my correct size bra like i was just like oh forget it i'm gonna just keep walking this too big of a bra and just pray that my boobs just fill back out and it just of course never happened um so it kind of like like i said made me really insecure because i was already petite and had a smaller chest but 34b was like decent for my size um so when i lost that i didn't know what size i was 
at all. And fast forward, I got pregnant again. My breasts grew again um, with the milk and everything. And I was like, okay, this time my boobs are gonna stay. Like they're not gonna leave. And then of course the same thing happened. I want to say this. Um, I did breastfeed jewelry a little like a month shorter than I did the twins. Um, you cannot get a breast augmentation from a reputable doctor because I had two different consults um, within six months of a surgery or breastfeeding. So of course I had um, the C-section, so that was already six months right there. But I had to have stopped breastfeeding for a six months minimum before they would even do the surgery. Um, some doctors may go ahead and do the surgery regardless, but most doctors decide that um, like they wanna make sure your, your breasts have release all the milk and have finally formed back to the original or the size that they're going to be and once again i did lose all of my breasts and it was just all bad so at that moment i just 100 percent decided i was going to move forward with getting a breast augmentation um and also i was considering to get a tummy tuck um because i had diastasis recti so after giving birth to my amazing beautiful daughters my body was just all out of whack and of course, if with any woman who has looked at herself for years, 20 plus years, and they have been fit and, you know, looked a certain kind of way, and then after you give birth to your children, you're just not the same anymore, of course, it will make you a little insecure. Um, I love everything about um, my body. However, like I said, I, I'm a woman. Like, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, things are just so different. Um, so I was originally going to be getting a tummy tuck plus a um, breast augmentation. However, with the doctors, um, one doctor said that they were going to be able to do it. And that quote was about, I, I want to say it was like 18000 for the breast augmentation plus the tummy tuck. Um, and then the second doctor, which is the doctor that I cho chose to go with, Dr. Khan, she said that I didn't have enough skin. So I'm going to stand up and show you guys exactly how I look. This is pretty much how much fat of skin I have. Um, my C-section of course is down there. My skin does look a lot more wrinkly after having kids. I'm not really too insecure about that. I was more so insecure about the bulge that I have, which honestly, after getting this breast augmentation, like it doesn't look as bulgy. So that's, I'm so happy with the breast augmentation. But yeah, like my body just looks way more 3D. Like I was just starting to look really flat and I didn't like that. Um, but yeah, so Dr. Khan, after having her, her consult, she advised me that I didn't have enough skin that like she can go in and do the tummy tuck, but I didn't have enough skin to close me back up. Like she didn't recommend for me to do it. Um, and she also said that she thought I may have a hernia and that at some point in my life, I would need to get the hernia removed before I do anything with my stomach. So after getting my breast augmentation, I don't think at all I will be getting a tummy tuck ever. I am going to follow up with my general doctor within six months of my breast um, healing and things and um, see about the hernia. And then if I have to get the hernia removed, I'll do that. But um, there are some other procedures I can do, non-invasive, um, so that I can correct the bulge. But she said the bulge is mostly like from the hernia and from my abs separating. But like I said, my, my breasts kind of like make it a lot more proportionate now. And then I've been doing some things behind the scenes. As you guys, if you all watch my videos and seeing me go to um, Forma and all those procedures they've been doing. So you guys, like I said, okay, let me, let me, um, okay. So when I actually, the day before my surgery, when I actually got down here and I went to my pre-op appointment, they measured me um, and checked my breasts. Um, and then they told me I was really, really petite and they would not have a surgical bra for me after I woke up. So they told me to go to Victoria's Secret and get this bra, which is actually a workout bra. Um, and they told me exactly the one to get. Um, and that was the first time I actually was measured. And I, like I said, before giving birth to my daughters, I was a 34B. When I worked at Victoria's Secret, I was a 32C. I would insert pictures before even having children of like how my breasts looked in my clothes and like 
so you guys can see for reference um after giving birth when i got measured the other day they told me i was a 30a and i just could not believe it that's why i was like okay i know i have to get this breast augmentation just for my own happiness and don't let anyone discourage you um and scare you there was a lot of people i know it's very informative so definitely do your research i know a lot about the breast implant illness and things like that i did do my research prior to but once i paid my money i was not trying to hear no articles or no horror stories about other people's experiences um i just like to think positive and i like to live my life with positive like thoughts and vibes so i kind of like don't try to think the worst so i kind of like steered away from anything breast related surgical related like all that type of negative stuff like completely a hundred percent i didn't watch no more videos after i paid my deposit i just kind of like only stayed in a positive mind space because you don't want to freak yourself out before surgery um anyways and it was just like i this is something i decided to do for me um and even if you've never had children like if you make a decision like this for your body do it for you like don't do it for anybody else like do it for you do your research i did my research and i was confident with my decision and I love my results. Now, the size bra that I have on now, well, before I get into that, let me get into like my virtual consult. Um, like I said, I had a virtual consult with two doctors. The first doctor I was considering was a guy and that consult was um, video. And we like, he was able to see me of course. And you know, he walked me through everything and then his staff talked to me, blah, blah, blah. And then with Dr. Khan, it was over the phone. We just had a phone conversation. I sent in her my pictures. You like you have to take pictures of all angles of your body, blah, blah blah. And then like of course she looks at it and then she called me. It was a little weird because I had seen so many videos of people physically going in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like 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 are you are you sure like you're gonna be able to do this surgery like you haven't even met me or anything um and she was amazing her staff was amazing like they answered all of my numerous of emails i emailed them like so much <laughs> i emailed them so much but they answered each and every one they always answered the phone when i called like i absolutely loved my experience with the customer service of dr khan's facility um and then when I got down here, unfortunately, I could not vlog as much as I wanted to um, because of different, um, like, they could film and, like, they had media releases for me to sign. But luckily, they did say on Monday, they cleared me to be able to film my follow-up. So you all will be able to see that. I vlogged my the day of, like, a little bit of the surgery yesterday, but the actual follow-up and everything, I will be able to vlog that. I had to just get permission, blah, blah, blah. So that was that, um, and like I said, I did choose Dr. Khan out here in Dallas, and I will link her information below in case you guys are interested. Um, now, the size that I went with, as far as the CCs are concerned, I got, I had looked at so many different girls' videos, and I was like looking at their CCs, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting their CC. And when I came in, I thought like, I'm just gonna show her a picture and be like, this is what I want, blah, blah, blah. Like I already had my pictures on deck of different like girls who also had similar breasts like that I had. Cause I have like a gap and like, you know, some women's breasts are like really close together. Some women are like not close together. Like, you know how your body looks like. So I found women whose breasts like were built like mine and like found their CCs and was like, hey, this is what I'm gonna show her y'all no that's not what happened um not to say that you can't give pictures or show anything like that but i guess based off my frame the doctor was like was like she went found the implant that she thought would better fit my frame and then she was like this is what i think works for you and i'm like oh there you have it and i trusted her because i never wanted to like these other people like they vary in height they vary in weight like there's different like we're all built differently so i didn't want to just assume like oh no like her body looked great and that size looked great on her so i know it should look great on me like i just kept in mind like i how much was i yesterday i think i weighed 96 almost 97 pounds um and I'm 4'11", so like based off my weight, my height, she told me the 275 cc was gonna be best for me. Um, and I trusted her, and when I went to Victoria's Secret, I got measured 
for a 30A, like I said. Um, and she told me to go up a cup size. However, they don't make a 30 band for the particular bra I had to get. And then they didn't have anything in stock for a 32B. Um, and then I was like, 32B? I was like, wait a minute. Like, I'm going to be still tight. Like, I was getting so nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to still be small. Because before having kids, I was a 34B, 32C. So now that I'm only going up a size, like I'm gonna still be really tiny, um, but they didn't have the Victoria's Secret measurement sometimes be off. But um, yeah, they didn't have a 32B. They did not even have a 32C. The smallest size they had in the store that I went to was a 32D. So the guy was like, go ahead, just try this on or I'll call another store and see if we have it. So I tried on this particular bra, the 32D, um, and it went around perfectly fine. The only thing was, it was like a little looser in my straps. That was the only thing. Um, but I decided like, maybe I should just get this. But like I just, sorry y'all. So yeah, I was just, um, I just decided let's just, why not just get the 32D. So I wanna show you guys what I look like. Um, I had to put like a little, pad down there for my stitching on my um, right boot but yeah so this is just kind of like how it looks and it maintained the shape that I was prior to the surgery so my left boob was slightly bigger and I breastfed a lot from my left boob so it was just like she was like your boobs are going to still maintain the same structure it's just going to be bigger if that makes sense so they still look as natural as possible so my left boob is looking like it's sitting a little higher but within six weeks they're going to completely drop um but like i said they look really really good like i'm trying to make sure you all see like they look really really good and oh, like they fit the cup of the 32d perfectly fine there's no issue the only thing is like the band um and oh like I said I really absolutely love it um so yeah like I said I got the silicone gummy bear 275 cc um and my implant is they did and do the incision at the bottom of my breast and um also my implant is under my muscle so of course it's going to be more of a natural look and um i what i was about to try to say um it's going to be more of a natural look and i did also get the 24-hour procedure dr khan specializes in a 24-hour procedure after watching so many different girls videos it was like making me so nervous because everybody had like different things they're like oh absolutely don't do this absolutely do do that and like my doctor gave me specific instructions and they're like completely contrary to what all the other girls are talking about so i'm like wait a minute like why why are they saying don't do this and then my doctor's telling me absolutely do this you better do this um so trust your doctor go with whatever your doctor tells you to do don't watch anybody else's videos and take that advice and if you have any questions hold on y'all i gotta sneeze <laughs> oh y'all if you have any questions then just ask your doctor like there are some things i saw other girls were saying and i was like what so i just asked my doctor like why was i told to do this but other people are saying not and then she explained it and like i said dr Khan was amazing last night i um saw a little little blood on my right stitching and um yeah i was able to dm her message her um she also called me personally like after hours to check on me um the the other assistant texted me this morning and has been texting me throughout the day like making sure i'm okay um and as far like i haven't been on any hard heavy um antibiotics or medicine like i literally just had ibuprofen and um, i'm supposed to take it like three times a day so far today i only took it once and i'm still a little tender well i'm very tender but as far as like pain and things like that like i'm not really experiencing um that as much or as bad as i was yesterday so um i would definitely say the 24-hour procedure so far so good um but like i said it's really tender i still kind of need help getting up because of the weight of it it's really uncomfortable sleeping because i have to sleep at a certain angle on my back so that's like kind of uncomfortable for me um but like i said if you have someone to help you like 
shower your first day, get dressed, get undressed, like all those different things. It just makes it 10 times easier for you because then you don't necessarily have to worry about um, like overextending yourself and overexerting yourself. So like I just had Jeremy like lifting up everything, like pretty much just doing everything for me. Honestly. Like I just existed, like I just sat here and existed and he did all the work, um, so that helped out. I also do have an injection that I have to inject inside of myself or your caretaker can, but Jeremy's very crazy when it comes to stuff like that. So I end up, luckily my sister's in the medical field, so she walked me through it. I vlogged that, so that'll be in the vlog tomorrow. And um, yeah, so like I said, I'll tell you guys the cup size in six weeks to see what, I, what it drops to and let you guys know. Um, 32D sounds large, but whatever, like whatever, whatever it is right now, it like fits me great. Like I love, 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 love my final result. Um, I know a lot of people want to know about the price. Um, most facilities do have the financing option. If you are interested in that, me personally, I didn't want to finance for two reasons. One, I just always knew I wanted to just pay for it and just be done with it. And secondly, um, I didn't, I couldn't really finance anyways if I wanted to because when you're in the process of buying a home, they say that you can't add anything to your credit anyways. If y'all know how that goes, so when it, when it was time for me like to book the when I booked the consultation, like I literally confirmed that day, like I was gonna go and move forward with Dr. Khan. So I paid my deposit um, that day, which was about five hundred and thirty dollars or something like that, roughly. I paid that same day. You had to pay a certain certain percentage. So it just depends on how far out you're getting your procedure. Um, my consult was in. March, I believe. Yeah, my consult was in March. My surgery was scheduled, of course, for May. Um, and um, I paid the rest of the money, I think a few days before I flew out here. So the total was about $7,700 in total. Um, and like I said, you do have financing options. If that is something that you choose to do and you don't wanna pay for it up front, I just went ahead and took care of it. Um, but I also want to tell you guys about some other little things to consider because obviously if you do something out of state, you have to consider and factor in flight. You have to consider and factor in hotel. Um, I did have to pay the anesthesiologist. Well, I think that was a part of the 7700 7, Um The flight and the hotel, of course, is a separate thing. Um, and then we had to get a rental car while we were down here because it was so many different things like we had to like run around and do so it's gonna be too much to Uber so factor in that um, and um, then I had to buy a separate bra and just like a little miscellaneous that I want to say like you got to factor in another like one to two thousand dollars for traveling if you decide to go out of state because you got to get around and do what you need to do and find somewhere to stay unless you have a family or friend that you can stay with for free. How long do they last? Um, so my particular implants last me 10 to 15 years um, and these are not lifetime um, implants. I will have to get my implants done in 10 to 15 years so that's exactly what I'll be doing. Some women, they just decide to get it removed out as they age and they're like, okay, I don't even need it no more, I'm older. Um, in 10 to 15 years, like I'm only 27, so I will definitely be getting mine done in 10 to 15 years. Um, and then probably after that time, I may just go ahead and take them out. I don't know, I really don't, I just don't know. But um, yeah, that's how long they last. Um, and like I said, as far as medi medicine is concerned, I, I watch other people's videos and some people like needed heavy medicine. I just particularly didn't, um, which is really good. And I don't like taking heavy medicines and stuff like that. So I'm really happy that it worked out that I didn't need it because this is day two and I've only taken one ibuprofen. I took my antibiotic um, that I do have to do arm exercises like every 30 minutes. I have to like kind of lift my arms up and ensure like they're not getting tight. So I do just that every 30 minutes 10 times um and that's been helping out as well um drinking plenty of fluids um pineapple juice helps out a lot as well um i did start taking arnica before my procedure like a week before my procedure which helps out a lot with swelling um when i went under um like it literally happened so fast the anesthesiologist literally inserted something into my like literally 
<laughs> it was so funny like what was going through my head because i was i was watching selena like they gave me um like a little blanket with a little heater and i was watching selena on netflix and then the anesthesiologist just came in and was like are you ready i'm about to give you some medicine to make you feel good i'm like okay sure literally like it happened so fast like like it was a movie i felt like i was being drugged which i was being drugged it just squirted something in me and i just started to like oh and then like he walked me to like a room over the surgical room and i laid on the bed and literally like they gave me like this heated blanket which felt so good because I, I hate being cold so i was like oh this is a life and then like they shot something in me that burned like crazy i was like oh i was like ah and then next thing you know he put the oxygen over me and i was out and that was all she wrote so i woke up and when i first woke up it was okay like they pretty much just told me everything went great and i didn't have on i think i had on my bottoms but i didn't have on my top and she was just like look down i looked down i saw they were much bigger and i'm like wow they look great and then i was like um can someone give me some medicine <laughs> that's the first thing i remember saying i was like hey can someone give me my, some medicine and then i was like hey did you guys call my boyfriend <laughs> like yeah he's already outside like he was like anxious so he was already out there waiting for me and then they wheeled me out to him and jeremy took care of me for the rest of the day but and then he got these flowers oh, these sweet flowers mm. so yeah i love them have a base here so i'm just like letting them soak up in the sun and i think um so yeah they just told me a whole bunch of things i can't do like i already told you guys so when i get back with the girls i can't lift them up or anything they say no like getting your nails done for six weeks no sex for six weeks uh no working out for six weeks and like no saunas no pools for six weeks um just different like like a lot of no tanning beds, no dental work, no dietary substances, no creams and lotions on your incisions, um, no cardiovascular activity, like stuff like that. But I ate my first meal and I didn't have any nausea whatsoever. I drank and like everything has pretty much been really, really good. So I will be back and well, if you guys watch my vlogs, you guys will stay updated with everything. I like i said i'm gonna have my full vlog from the surgery day coming out tomorrow and then days to come out of course update you guys and you all just stay tuned um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'll see you guys at my six week follow-up so you guys can see how these ladies drop and how we're coming so i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time